Kinds of large scale outdoor music festivals are not new. KPRC 2 Sabira Rayford is live at NRG Park tonight with a closer look at the history of these types of concerts. Sabira? Chris, we spoke to a longtime concert promoter who says these events can quickly become deadly and it's not a new occurrence. A day of fun turned into a night of panic. They were grabbing each other's jackets. Jimmy Williamson, a retired police chief from Georgia, says his son was caught in the chaos at the Astro World Festival. I told him when crowd surging and stuff happened, just hold tight where you are. Let people work the exits. It'll calm down and then you can go. Don't try to fight and rush with it. It's like swimming with the current. You throw 50,000 people in place, it takes, you know, a dozen of them to create chaos. Sugarland resident I Gary Becker you. spent a majority of his career as a concert promoter. I grew up in the Astrodome, you know. My dad started doing shows in the Astrodome when I was seven years old. He's been out of the game for a couple of decades. In 1979, he remembers how the Who concert in Cincinnati changed the structure of live performances. Outside of the stadium, 11 people were killed in the stampede. It started changing things. It started changing um, events not being general admission seating on the floor, that it went to chairs, and, and then reserve seating. He believes festivals aren't going away, but the investigation into what happened at the Astro World Festival could once again change the industry. They're going to look at their policies. They're going to look at the procedures. They're going to see what they could have done better, how to control it better, and, and make those changes if changes need to be made. Becker says how an artist responds can sometimes have an impact, but he says ending the show can sometimes cause more chaos. We're reporting live outside of NRG Park. Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News.